hello and welcome back and today we are doing something a little bit different i'm testing out the f22 raptor by sippo box sippo box i think you're pronouncing it and um, i discovered this uh, i think uh, last week or the week before that on the forums and i thought it was such a good plane and it looks really good so I wanted to try it out and turn off the brakes that helps and yes this is the 22 Raptor it looks really similar it's an incredible good design and even better than being an incredible good design this is one of the best planes I've ever flown in Kerbal Space Program and you can actually fly it pretty much as a plane in probably many simulators I think you can say so yeah I suck at building planes to be totally honest I haven't made one good plane yet I think I only made one plane that was um, space capable or orbital capable and even that I only got gotten into orbit one time but this plane is really good and I've been flying it all around Kerbin you can fly pretty far if you go high enough, enough up and uh, use the throttle wisely but uh, yeah we're not gonna fly around Kerbin today that will take too long but it has the avionics pack on in front so you can lock on the autopilot and just fly around and you can make changes on the way and um, this is the plane flying without the autopilot it's perfectly balanced flying itself and the only thing uh, that's yeah well the only thing that's um, I won't say marking the plane down because it's nothing uh, the creator can do about it that is the fuel balance in Kerbal Space Program so I've been locking these uh, rear tanks so emptying the middle and front one first some, most of the time and that makes the whole thing a lot more stable than uh, the original or how uh, Kerbal Space Program takes the fuel around but yeah we are wasting a lot of fuel flying this at full throttle but I thought we were going to go and visit the um, dirt runway today so let's get into chase cam and see if we can do this landing and uh, yeah most of my landings with my planes have been crashes so I won't say they can be called landings but this plane is actually quite nice to fly I don't think I'm doing it justice all the time but um, is it really simple to fly and you can use the um, sensitive controls and then you can fly it a lot more realistic like I'm doing now it, it's just a really good plane I have no criticism criticisms of this at all I even tried to make a long distance version with a couple of fuel tanks hanging from the uh, wings and there was absolutely no problem for the plane to carry that extra fuel and even with my horrible uh, bouncing it flew quite nicely and I tried to get this into orbit with putting a rocket engine on the back but well it's it's not made to go to orbit to be honest I got it in space but not in orbit probably someone who is uh, good at designing planes and understanding how it works could probably do it so just to make it clear uh, I will probably not make any tutorials on uh, fly, flying space planes or building them since the only space plane I can fly which is this one is uh, not made by me so I can't take credit for the flying but uh, yeah if you've flown uh, simulators and stuff you can probably fly this really well it's a good plane and easy to control so just pushing the nose up right above the runway and landing so that's us landed on the dirt runway and um, 
Well, the turning circles of the landing wheels in Kerbal Space Program is too big for us to turn around here on the runway. So we'll just give full throttle and hope that this then there is enough runway left. And there, just enough runway to get this thing into into the air. And the last thing. Uh, before we end this short review of this plane, let's take it up and see how well it does in the lower atmosphere. And we can see that we're using some of this fuel in the middle to keeping it balanced. Oh, sorry. So yeah, double screen, you can actually go outside. That was what just happened. So the mouse should be locked inside the game, but it's not. I don't know if that Kerbal Space Program or Unity Engine that has that fault, but never mind. I have to get used to keeping the mouse on one screen. Um, yeah, um, as we go up, you can see that the IPS is climbing, and I found the um, best IPS is around 5000, but since the um, air resistance is so high, uh, you waste a lot of fuel flying at 5,000. I actually flew this to this island at 5,000 to test. So from Kerbal Space Program, uh, Space Station, Space, yeah, Space Center, that's the name of it. To this island took um, about two-thirds of the fuel. And on the return journey, I took it out or up to about 14,000 and flew it back and I only used half of the one third I already used so altitude is definitely important when going on um, fuel efficient runs so that's us up at 13,000 meters and using some fuel and we can just slow this down it will steadily climb speed and velocity no uh, height and velocity and we can just level this off right here and it's just a beautiful plane it's really easy to fly and um, I have absolutely no criticism to this plane whatsoever uh, so yeah next thing on uh, what I was going to talk about is that um, uh, it's kind of fun to test out other people's designs. Oh, look, we can get the uh, re-entry effects now. We're starting to go so fast. Uh, it's kind of fun to test out other people's design, uh, like this plane. And I was thinking maybe if people are interested, we could do some uh, test piloting or anything. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers done it, so there's plenty of other people doing it so it's nothing original but if people would like we could probably do something of the same uh, it will have to be stock uh, seeing that uh, getting a hold on all the mods and updating all the time will be a lot of work and we should probably then put up um, some discussion on the forum or somewhere where people can submit their planes so yeah, leave a short description uh, or short comment in the description of what you think of this idea, if it sh should be something we should do or anything, but um, yeah, it's uh, it would be fun. Whoa. Not losing control, using SAS and it's stabilizing. So yeah, pushing the plane to its limits, kind of, sort of. I think you can say. So you can see that in this short time we actually flown quite a long distance away from the Kerbal Space Center already. So yeah, I flew the plane back to Kerbal Space Center and there was just one more thing I wanted to show you before uh, ending this short video and that's that this plane is great flying around and if you want to do exploring on Kerbal uh, it's a great plane to use, but it's kind of difficult to get in and out seeing that there is no ladder. Now you can lower the front wheel to get in and out, but I found it was a little tight squeeze because of the engines. 
so what I did is to lower the rear wheel the wings can take it even though it looks like they're about to break and then you can just EVA your Kerber, Kerbal and uh, he can climb up on the wing and uh, get back on his plane after doing some exploring just flying this way so I think this is the most Kerbal way of getting uh, back on your plane just lowering the landing gears so you can get back on board or falling off on the other side but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and um, see you guys shortly Wearing Storm signing off.